My name is Christian Seifert. I'm a partner at LEK Consulting based in our Munich office and a member of a life science practice. My work focuses primarily on helping clients launch and commercialize new products and develop the relevant capabilities to do so successfully. I'm Peter Rosen. I'm a partner with LEK here in Boston, part of the life science practice. I lead our work in biopharma organization and performance, focusing on commercialization and organizational development. We all know that launching a product is a time and money consuming exercise, and it's so important to get it right, especially as launches are more difficult now than they ever were before. We have new modalities that are more complicated than in the past. Cell therapies, gene therapies require different uh, interactions with uh, delivery centers and, and healthcare professionals. A lot of products now require biomarkers, so we are launching both the product and the biomarker. But also just to get price and market access requirements are increasingly high, so we need to factor that in. Despite all these challenges, the importance to address these well, we see many pharma companies start launch planning way too late. In truth, it should and can take three or more years to prepare for launch well. Not investing enough in launch planning early often ends up costing more money than aiming for excellence from the very start. So why do things go wrong? We believe that people don't give the topic of launch sufficient attention, maybe because they don't have the bandwidth or experience, or maybe there's a hesitancy to invest when there's still a fair amount of risk associated with an asset. But we think there's little downside to properly investing, and in fact, a lot of the downside for not investing early in the launch planning. In short, launch excellence is possible, and we're helping clients achieve it. We've identified five key factors for successful launch. The first factor is early preparation. We recommend three years before launch. We start with what we call the launch situation assessment. So the company can understand what's going on with the market, the product, and their organization. And from there on, we can customize the approach to planning the launch and make it very operational for them. The launch planning needs to be structured but flexible to keep the launch on track and to react to new challenges and opportunities as they arise. Here's where our launch excellence framework can help. It follows a simple pyramid structure, starting with three dimensions. Prepare the market, prepare the product, and prepare the organization. The third part is to make sure that the entire organization is part of the launch. And that means it's cross-functional, right? Preparing a launch is not just a marketing activity, it is all functions, right? R&D, medical, manufacturing, regulatory, marketing and enabling functions. Everything needs to be aligned. And it's also very important that you have alignment from global to region and affiliates. So that's the third part. The team also needs to continuously assess launch readiness. They need to know where they are, where the potential delays and risks sit, and what can be done to address and prevent those. The fifth and last factor is you need the right people. You can have a perfect launch process and a great tool, but without the right people, you will not succeed. You need people who have experienced launching products, they're passionate about the product and the disease they're treating, and they're willing to collaborate. If you have that, you'll be successful. A few years ago, we helped a business with a long history of mature products that found itself needing to launch new products. They lacked up-to-date experience and capabilities in doing so, and people were working hard, but not smart. We showed them a better process, and five years later, this process is still in place in helping them launch multiple products successfully over time. Another client is a startup biotech launching for the first time. Their big focus being regulatory approval and they'd never really looked beyond this. We help them think further ahead on how to manufacture and market their products for the long term. We did this with a clear financial lens in place, helping the client to make a financial success out of the innovation and hard work. Our approach is both strategic and then we translate it into an operational roadmap. It's structured so we don't forget anything, but it's also customized so that the launch plan fits what you need, and it's also structured so that it fits into how your organization works. And then lastly, it's comprehensive, right? It's cross-functional, and it factors in global, regional, and local considerations. Mm -hmm.